There. I confessed to that vicar. Do I feel better? Only time will tell. doing you made me made me this creature what are you i am the land you are our champion riddles and rhymes you took my life now you insult my mind be stilled my child I bring understanding. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Seek truth, my champion. Defeat the serpent of knowing with iron. I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Leave him, Jonathan. This is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I 
found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I'll help you. Jonathan, please. I can't rely on anyone else. And this concerns you as it involves vampires. Someone has taken advantage of our more liberal tendencies here. In what way? Jonathan, I may turn my head when you or her ladyship indulge, but I will not allow this place to become a nest for street feeders. Please, then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now Guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Do you really believe they would come for us here, in such a public venue? McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. Sean Hampton lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. It seems the Prewin are redoubling their patrols in the district. Best run along home, must be more It's care. not human! Kill it! Die, vermin! Uh, uh. Look He's on to us! Boys! Uh, 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 he's dead! 
Mark my word, miss. These murders are the work of a vampire. A vampire? Whatever do you mean? I'm a tracker of these creatures. A vampire hunter. You best be off to your hunting then. For if the sewer dog is back, I'm hunting all these poor folk he needs to catch him. A sewer dog? What's it look like? It's an old story. A monster with daggers for teeth and icy claws. It comes of a sudden, nighttime, claiming innocence, then vanishes. Good evening, sir. Whatever. Don't you recognize me? We met a few nights ago. Don't take it personally. I spent a lot of energy forgetting what I did the night before. Yes, you had definitely drunk too much then as well. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm Dyson Delaney. I'll try to remember you this time. I'm looking for Mr. Sean Hampton. Do you know where I could find him? I really don't know. I heard he'd been abducted, and I don't know if he's back. Who could tell me, then? About the sad saint. I'll try asking Tom what's about him. What do you do for a living, Mr. Delaney? I drink. I drink in the morning and at noon. I drink at night. And then I drink some more. Why do you drink so much? Maybe it's because I prefer dying slowly. Death can be so abrupt. Personally, I like to see mine coming at my own pace. You sound very sad, sir. That's because I am, Doc. Don't you work at all? I'd love to, but I don't have the time. Didn't I tell you? Drink in the morning and at noon, I'll drink at night. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks, I mean. How dare you say such a thing? I love this neighborhood. So friendly, so joyful. Why are you so cynical? Cynicism is the polite way to express despair, Doctor. No reason at all to rejoice, then? Life is hopeless and then we die, is that it? Let me tell you a story. All right. Go on. A few years ago, when I believed a resolute man could change things around here for good, a tragedy occurred nearby. What kind of tragedy? It was a bomb. A bomb that exploded and killed many people. Metal and blood everywhere. Shouts. Fire. Broken window of the shoe shop. The torn street light. You lost people you loved that day, didn't you? I've lost everything. But you know what the worst part is? I don't even remember where it happened. I've drunk so much to forget it. And now I can't remember where it was. I can't pay my homage to the dead. I'm sorry, Mr. Delaney. It's okay. If you ever find the place, just leave a flower for me there. Even if you tell me where it is, I'm not sure I'd memorize it. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks, I mean. How dare you say such a thing? I love this neighborhood. So friendly. So joyful. No reason at all to rejoice, then. Life is hopeless and then we die, is that it? Let me tell you a story. Another time, perhaps. I'm not sure I want to hear another sad story. Surely you must have had dreams and expectations when you were young, like everybody else. Sure. I wanted things to change. To really change, and to change for good. The bigger the dream, the harder the fall. Sounds like you were an idealist, which is honorable. No, sir. I was an anarchist, and I believe that exclusive property is a robbery in nature. I wanted a new world to rise from the ashes, Dr. Reed. Do you really think the world is that bad? No, I believe we all can choose to make it better. But most of us are too weak, too corrupt and too guilty. I failed for sure, but others will come. 
I want to know more about your past as an anarchist, Dyson. I'm still an anarchist, Doctor. Make no mistake. I just reject violence as a tool to change the world, unlike my comrades. Do you believe in a bloodless revolution, then? I do not believe in much anymore, Doctor. But I'll admit I like your idea of peaceful change. I like it a lot. Do you still see your comrades, then? Even if you don't agree with their methods anymore, I mean. No. I hope they'll come to share my point of view one day. I'll raise my glass to that splendid idea. Is there anything in particular that you like about this part of town? Except for the cheap drinks, I mean. How dare you say such a thing? I love this neighborhood. So friendly, so joyful. Goodbye, Mr. Delaney. Good evening, Tom. Good evening, sir. How are you tonight? Back to the docks, are we? You remember me, then? Of course I do. You're that man who seemed so lost when he entered my bar a few nights ago. Thank you for your hospitality. I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Uh, I'm still Tom Watts. Welcome back, Doctor. Tom, I need to find Sean Hampton as quickly as possible. I've been told you could help me. I heard the sad saint was recovering at Pembroke Hospital. Did he leave or something? The important thing is I find him. Quickly. Uh, why not try his night asylum? He takes care of those who need a meal or a roof there. Where is it? It's in an old warehouse, northwest of here. Just follow the bank to the west and go north when you reach the end of the pier. I believe he returned to his flock. Can you confirm that? Oh, I bet you're right. Sean can't help but worry about the poor and sick. Oh, I guess it has something to do with what happened to him as a baby. Please, tell me. Well, I don't like to gossip, but I heard that the sad saint was abandoned as a baby in front of a Catholic orphanage in Dublin. Would explain his faith and need to help everyone. What can you tell me about this part of town? It's not that bad. Thanks to people like the sad saint of the East End. Who? Sean Hampton, our own private holy figure. Few are foolish enough to make peace with the gangs. Sean is one of them. How is it you can keep this place open? This part of town doesn't seem particularly safe. Well, since everybody needs a drink, my pub is considered neutral ground by most groups. You're something of a figurehead around here. I'm only pouring alcohol for everyone to forget their troubles. Sean Hampton is the one giving them long-term hope. I see. So you get pressure from all sides about how this place should be run, do you? Well, something like that. Nothing that a few wise words and a bottle of gin can't solve. Since I'm here, is there anything I can do? Well, perhaps, Doctor. Peace partly depends on my stock of gin. Uh, with the epidemic, my supplies are running low. How could a physician help you in this matter? I have a small warehouse just past the quarantine line. Perhaps, with you being a doctor, you could go there and come back? Doctors aren't immune. To disease, you know. Very well. Show me where it is. I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you, sir. Here's the key to get in. You're about to save many dry throats. Goodbye, Mr. Watts. Like these are good just as well. I never. That's a first. Customers who make that much mess rarely come back. Never mind in fancy togs. I'm much more myself than when we first met. By the way, I'm Jonathan, Dr. Jonathan Reed. Welcome back to the Turquoise Turtle, then, Doctor. I'm Sabrina Cavendish. How can I help you? Miss Cavendish, would you be willing to help me locate Sean Hampton? You better ask Tom, sir. Why not answer me directly? We respect the privacy of our customers here, sir. Only Tom can decide who to speak to and what he'll say to them. 
What can you tell me about this area? People don't appreciate that line of questioning round here. You best be more careful with what you say, sir. You look concerned, Miss Cavendish. This is a bad borough. Most people I know are afraid. Most locals will rob you blind, or worse. You best mind your step. So you and your friends all feel in danger? No exceptions? Tom's the only exception I've come across until now. But he's... He's not like everybody else. This place seems... How shall I put it? Very colourful. I'm sure it has plenty of stories to tell. We get people of all sorts here. It's that rare place in the docks where you can have a drink without being murdered. At least it's not happened yet. So this bar is neutral territory then? Yeah. Tom's convinced this is something the locals need. No one ever draws a weapon here. That's one of the reasons I accepted the job. Your boss must be quite the negotiator to force such an agreement. Yeah. Tom's a great bloke. Mr. Hampton, who runs the night asylum, he's the only other man that's able to keep peace around here. Excuse my curiosity, but where exactly are you from, Miss Cavendish? Something bothering you? What, my name? Or my complexion? Believe me, I never judge someone on their place of birth or the colour of their skin. If that's true, you'd be one of the few not to make fun of me. Just you, Tom, Dyson, Miss Fishburne, and of course Mr. Hampton. I'm sorry if I worried you. I was just curious to find out if you know this part of town well. Nosy. My dad was a sailor from Bombay, and my mum was a maid born up in Glasgow. They got married in London, and here I am. Goodbye, Miss Cavendish. Good evening, sir. Have you witnessed any suspicious activity or strange events recently? And what do you define as a strange event? More to the point, who are you? My name is Ichabod Throgmorton, vampire hunter extraordinaire and warden of the East End. A vampire hunter? <laughs> really? I know what you're thinking. I'm just another lunatic howling at the moon, but I'm not. The bloodsuckers exist, and they're close. Mr. Throgmorton, I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'd like to hear more about these vampires you're hunting. A man of science? Well, I'll be glad to enlighten you. I'm looking for Sean Hampton. Can you help me, Mr. Throgmorton? The sad saint? He should be at his night asylum at this hour. But I cannot tell you how to find it, sorry. Really? Why is that? It's nothing personal, Doctor. I'm sure your intentions are good, but people who sleep there... They have plenty of reasons to hide. I could make you tell me, but I respect your refusal. You really believe Sean is a saint, don't you? All I will say is this. Gossip has it that when he was a child, he was molested. By a priest of all people. Funny thing is, though, it only strengthened his faith. Maybe at least you can tell me who could help me find him. Tell you what, go and chat with Tom Watts. He's a bartender and good judge of character. If he talks to you, then it's fine by me. Have you heard of the Guard of Prewan? Of course. They're dedicated hunters. A little militant for my taste, but they do let anyone join. <laughs> so you hunt alone? That sounds risky. Vampires are just like every other predator. They hunt when they're hungry and follow certain patterns. It's just a matter of observation and patience. Were you ever tempted to join the guard yourself? I did think about it, but I'm more of a silent hunter. They're more of a sanitary militia.
What can you tell me about this neighborhood? Did you hear about what happened to Jack Gillingham? Poor oh boy. It's a shame I wasn't around to protect him. It's impossible to protect everyone. The violence seems endemic in this part of town. But it's my duty. I am convinced Jack Gillingham was killed by a vampire. These evil rodents are spreading like a plague. So, how exactly are you protecting these people? I'm curious. I patrol late at night, investigating anything unusual. I try and encourage people to stay indoors, but people are careless. Can I help in any way? Actually, yes. I plan to put up posters to alert the population to the vampire threat. Are you asking me to paste posters about vampires around the docks? If you wouldn't mind. If you did that, then I can focus on my patrols. How do you identify a vampire? It's simple, really. They can't stand daylight. They're afraid of garlic and holy symbols. And they also cannot enter a house without being invited. Have you ever killed one of these creatures? Yourself, I mean. Of, of course I have. W what kind of question is that? It's a dirty business, believe me. Goodbye, and good hunting, Mr. Throckmorton.